Hi, I'm Chris Johnston. I'm the president of Sierra Olympic Technologies. We're here in our offices in Hood River, Oregon. I'm here with Tim Decker, our product engineer, and Stan Voynick, our chief engineer. And we're here to talk about the Viu HD, full HD, long wave, uncooled infrared camera. The resolution of this camera is 1920 pixels by 1200 pixels. We've been marching step by step over three years with the focal plane uh, developer here to create this camera. We've developed optics and processing and the mechanical packaging all to render a camera that delivers the true long wave HD performance for our customer. No other camera can deliver that in the infrared world. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Tim and Stan to get into the technical details of this product. <laughs> are you are you gonna roll in us and just get yeah, yeah, what you go? We're, we're going, baby. Okay. It's live. <laughs> hey Stan, check out how small this camera is. I'm amazed. Tell me more about it, Tim. Well, it's tiny. Um, so this is this is one of the lowest uh, weight cameras in its class. It's one of the lowest size cameras. It's very easy to integrate. Uh, we designed it so that it will integrate on aerial platforms anywhere where low weight and space constraint is very important. First, I'll talk about the general architecture of the camera. Um, so there's a lens, a sensor, and a video processor. It's got a 1920 by 1200 sensor, which is connected to a video processing architecture with an encoder that provides IP video and HDMI, um, has interfaces for power um, and communication interfaces and other things that we'll cover in detail later in the video. Sierra Olympics had two lenses custom designed for this sensor. The one shown here is a 25 millimeter lens, which gives a wider 50 degree field of view. Uh, the other lens that's available is a 50 millimeter lens, which has a narrower 25 degree field of view. Uh, so the camera as pictured here with the, the 25 millimeter lens is about 450 grams, okay. making it one of the lightest cameras in its class. Um, we designed it that way, ideally for aerial integration, anywhere where uh, low weight's very important. One of the things that contributes to that low weight is the fact that this is an uncooled sensor. Uh, it works in the long wave. Um, Mid-wave sensors typically have coolers on them, mechanical coolers that are refrigerators that have to cool the sensor. In this case, there's no need for that. This sensor operates at room temperature, so the, the weight, the size, power dissipation can all be lower. The other thing about the not having a cooler involved here is that the, a cooler sensor uh, eventually needs, it's got moving parts, it eventually needs maintenance, it eventually needs to be replaced. None of those things need to happen here. So the uh, long-term cost of ownership is, is lower because of that, and the long-term reliability is greater because of that. Uh, so the target market for this camera is aerial integration. That's the big one. Because it's so small, because it's so light, and uh, the package is designed so that it's easy to put onto um, stabilized gimbals um, or other aerial mounting. Um, additionally, it's it's designed with integrators in mind. Uh, it has a standard suite of connectors that is standardized across the rest of our products. Um, uses a protocol that's easy to implement. There's a lot of convenient video interfaces and command interfaces. And from the mechanical perspective, there are mounting holes on multiple sides here that let you get it integrated into something like a drone back here. One of the benefits of such a large pixel field is the number of pixels in the frame. Um, you can imagine in an aerial application, you might be ground scanning. Um, this camera allows you to have a wide field of view, but still maintain a large number of pixels on target. The processing system in the Vio HD is based around a Snapdragon 820 processor, which is a pretty sophisticated processor that takes can take the full HD stream from the sensor at the full 60 hertz rate and render our HDMI output video. Between there, there's a lot more that can happen though. Uh, the, the processor can uh, do local area enhancement called CLAHI, uh, automatic gain control to, to automate the scaling of the data. Provides a platform for taking in metadata. Mm -hmm. um, so we you can embed uh, NMEA GPS messages um, or any key link value messages into the video stream. Right, for example, you could be on an aerial platform where you've got 
uh, uh, position location data coming in from your from your platform can be fed into the value HG. That data can then get tagged as a stream into the video data that's either getting recorded on board or sent out via the Ethernet. Another important feature of the video processor is electronic image stabilization, um, which makes uh, unsteady mounting on unsteady platforms a little bit easier for the for the integrator. So for applications requiring analysis, there's also a, a raw video output. It's USB 3, uh, which is designed to be very convenient. Um, and that gives us the full 16-bit uh, depth data from the sensor, so you get the maximum dynamic range out of that, assuming you're going into some kind of a numeric or algorithmic process. That's right. There's also onboard video storage. So if you, uh, you can also perform analysis on individual still files. Mm -hmm. um, you can save video to video files. Example of that would be if you've got this on an, uh, an aerial platform, again, like the, the drone behind me here, um, you could have the Vayu store video on its internal card without needing a video link from the platform down and then re uh, recover that video data afterward. The IP video stream is based on RTP, um, which it makes it very easy to integrate into VMS systems or any sort of existing architecture. There's a few other features that make this camera very easy for aerial integration. The HDMI out has standard uh, options for conversion to HDSDI. So it's two signals. It's very easy to put onto a slip ring for a stabilized gimbal. Um, the image processor has features that support uh, moving object detection and object tracking uh, with uh, closed loop feedback for telemetry. Yeah, because that telemetry can be brought out then to uh, either use to steer a gimbal, steer the platform, or just find objects in the field. Well, thanks for watching up to now. Sierra Olympic, again, has been around for 25 years. We're not a big company, but we've had a lot of impact over the years. Uh, we're a true leader in the development of very small, high-performance infrared cameras across many industries, mostly for airborne industries, however. We have lots of examples sitting around here of some of the technology that uh, we've developed over the years. Uh, not many companies can claim to have delivered uh, over 3,000 mid-wave infrared systems for airborne applications, and we're very proud of that attribute. We're a team of about 20 people here in Hood River. We're gr growing consistently, and we have a great team, and we're ready to help you with any camera application you have, whether it be around our products or custom development projects that we can help you with. Again, thanks for watching.